Hello, it's Sean. Today I'm going to be painting some 6mm models. These are uh, from Micro World Games. They're on, from their Beastman line, and these are the Fawn Archers. These, as you can see, are pretty small. Uh, but I like 6mm games. They let you really have a masked combat kind of feel. So I've painted up a couple sample models uh, just to see if I like how they look uh, and I do I usually do that when I'm painting these well, pretty much anything I'll paint a couple to get the colors down that I want uh, and then I'll kind of mass produce the rest so that's, again my normal is a basic paint job that looks pretty decent on a table so this guy uh, pretty basic nothing nothing too special but when I have a bunch of these masked up on the table they'll look pretty good I think so now that I've got the colors that I want to paint down uh, and actually I've started doing a thing where I write down what colors I've used and I've got a note card uh, a file box that I'm gonna keep these in so if I ever come back and decide to paint them again uh, I have that written down and and easy access so I can duplicate the colors uh, and the, the uh, just the basic paint uh, scheme that I've used so to mass produce these I've actually glued them to some sticks Let's zoom out. so this is just balsa strip I use white glue to glue the models to the uh, to the strip, let it dry, and then these were previously uh, primed. I primed them with a light, light brown, uh, and then this strip has been washed with Agrax Earthshade. Let's see if you can, and that adds some depth to the color, brings out the detail. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do with the next batch here the next strip is they're going to get washed with Agrax Earthshade as well Alright, the Agrax O-Shade is dried now. See it brings out the detail in these guys. Next up, I'm going to paint the legs with Werewolf Fur. Next up, I'm going to paint the hair fur brown. Next up, I'm going to paint the quiver and the strap holding the quiver on. Not sure you can see it. The quiver is there. And then as I flip it over, there's the strap is across his chest. Right there. Those are gonna get painted with leather brown. Next up, I'm going to paint the bows on these models with oak brown.
almost finished with these. Next up, I'm going to paint little horns with skeleton bone. finished painting these guys now I'm attaching them to bases I'm using uh, 40 millimeter by 20 millimeter metal bases from I get these from war game accessories uh, I think I like the size of them and they work really well and they help for transport because they're magnetic so I can uh, uh, use them on a magnetic sheet so they don't slide all over the place in my storage containers so what I do is I just uh, put a couple dabs of super glue onto the base and then drop the models on. I mix them up a little bit so that they're laid out differently. Alright, so I've painted these fawn models. Uh, painted the base brown and now I'm gonna texture the base with some flock I normally mix up uh, some spackling compound with some glue and stuff and lay that down so that the, the uh, texture of the base of the model is not raised up from the surface of the actual base I don't know if you can see that how it's raised a little bit um, I'm going to try just to flock it and see how it looks. Adding that extra layer of uh, material, it takes a lot of time. It looks nice, but I don't know that it's really necessary. So I'm going to try one base with just some flock uh, and see how it looks and decide if I want to do just that or if I'm going to uh, use that joint compound, the spackling uh, mix that I use uh, on the rest of them. So here we go. Uh, to do this, I've just got some watered down wood glue of three colors of flock. Uh, the way I do it is I'll put the glue on it, sprinkle on a little bit of the darkest flock, a little a couple places, and then a little bit of the lighter flock, and then I cover the whole thing with the, the basic green, uh, and it gives a nice uh, variation of color. I've completed this unit of fawn archers for my beastmen army. Um, I'm going to use these for a couple of different games, probably uh, Lord and Lands, probably some small scale Kings of War, uh, maybe some other games as well. I'm pleased with how these turned out. Uh, these models are really detailed for being six millimeter. Uh, they're again from uh, Micro World, uh, their Beastman line. So, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those in the comments section below. And if you uh, want to see more videos like this and the other projects that I work on, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.